Hey guys! As you probably noticed by now, my hair is not up, nor can it ever be put up for a probably a year or two, give or take, because I got my hair done today and it was awesome. Like when it was wet, like the wet from like all the stuff, because my hair has to be wet when it's cut or else it will go fucking crazy like it is right now. Everything was just perfectly nice and neat and tucked under, kind of like a little nice, neat, retro 50s hairstyle, and then as it started drying, it started pulling a France and a Canada. Now, for those of you who watch Italia, you know, because both France and Canada have, like, wavy, curly hair, like, as you can see, the re result of this piece, or was it this one, one of the pieces, Canada curl. Literally, it was so perfect curl, and I was like, I fell asleep, though, like, literally, I fell asleep in the hair salon, because we were, like, in the area where the hair salon was for, like, hours, like, because it was me, my mom, and my dad, we were getting, like, all our stuff done, and, yeah, that was run down of shopping experience, well, um, hair experience. It's how I like it. And, yeah, this, this, um, I bought with money I got from my parents. My parents gave me $35. And so we were in the store, right? And, like, my parents let me wander by myself because I had my cell phone on me. They knew they could get a hold of me. Well, the store we were in had crap, like, my phone had crappy service. So, like, literally, I could not answer any calls or texts from them, nor could I receive them. So, it was like, fuck. And then my mom's like, yeah, you won't be allowed to wander around by yourself uh, again because of that. And, like, I was like, mom, you know how my phone is. Your phone has the same exact issue. And uh, she was like, where, like, when we met up again, she was like, where, my mom was like, where were you? And I'm like, I'm like, literally, I walked around the whole store, like, fucking three times. And then I got thirsty and hungry, so I headed to Dunkin' Donuts, because there was a Dunkin' Donuts in the store. And I got myself a large iced French vanilla coffee, regular cream, regular sugar. And, like, a donut. <laughs> and that was with, like, the $5 I had left over after I purchased my necklace. The one that I'm wearing. I decided to name this necklace. Like, I don't know why. It just came into my head. Because this was, like, literally um, the money. An iTunes gift card. I'm getting a Nook card for my Nook. Another $25. So, my parents overall has been 85, have given and or spent, like, yeah, $85 on me, which is awesome, but they didn't have to do that for me, and this necklace costs, like, $28, $29 a pack, and so I decided to name, like, this, like, the key to, like, success or something like that, because, like, I, um, was, I'm being, like, I got all the things that I got, like, the Nook cards that I am going to get, and the, um, like, iTunes card I got, I got because I did it really, really good in school. I made, like, high honors, so I still don't see how that's a big deal when I didn't make highest honors, but I made the honor roll. Either way, I made honor roll, and it's a good thing, but I'm not the type who likes to brag about it. That's my mom. She'll be like, I'm so proud of you. You made high honors. You know how hard that is? And I'm like, it wasn't really that hard. But anyway, um, that's not the point of this video. Um, This video is going to kind of delve delve into what my day was like. Okay, so, well, his, like, it was a half day. 
I'm gonna start with world history because that was awesome. Everything else was boring, but world history was awesome. And um, yeah, so like in world history, my like we were covering the like we were covering starting off unit five, um, exploration and exchange. I'm sure all of you know what that is. Um, so we started like with the whole crusades and shit, and like we were taking notes, and she was like, "Wait, did you guys start on the notes yet?" And we're like, at first we're like, "No," because we were. It's been so long since we saw the thing that we're like, "No." And then after a couple slides, we were like, "Wait, yeah." And then like she ex was explaining that like church and all, it, it got to a really interesting and weird topic, like. You would think that we would be done with religion, considering we finished religion. It was so weird, though. And then, um, when we started talking about the Crusades, it was so fucking weird. Um, we, like, I think we got, like, maybe to, like, the second or third Crusade before we started talking, like, actual discussions that are awesome. Like, we didn't even make it to the fourth Crusade yet. The crazy one. We didn't make it to the crazy Crusade. God damn it. Because there were a total of like eight crusades, four major, four minor, and then there was um the children's crusade um that she told us about a long ass time ago, but I remember it was like three thousand children from I forget like the age of seven to twelve. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and they were fighting, and yeah, it was stupid. Um, I don't get it. Um, anyway, and so we were discussing things, and then, was, like, when we got to the third crusade, like, we were talking, we were talking, and because of Richard the Lionheart, like, we were, like, I forget how we got to talk, oh, yeah, because she was telling us, like, um, that her, one of her professors in college, like, uh, lect like, in the lecture, like, was explaining how, like, when, like, Rich, how Richard the Lionheart of England, like, died. And, um, it was, like, um, he, like, was trying to invade, or he was guarding the castle. I think he was, like, trying to invade it or something. And then, like, this nine-year-old boy shot and killed him with an arrow. And then, like, as he was dying, like, his, his last request was to meet the guy who shot him. The boy who shot him. And then he basically fucking congratulated him for killing him. Fact. It was pretty cool though. I can't explain it that well because you would have to, you would have to have been in my world history class to get it. It was so weird. Like, there are some people who like ask, well mainly one person, who ask questions that are actually good and thought provoking and very weird and or confusing. And then there are people who ask the dumbest, uh, not trying to see, that they really are, like, like, really? There, it's, literally, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna use, okay, the person who asks the, um, very deep thought-provoking questions, like, almost always, is Brooke, um, and she, like, always asks this person these deep questions that we actually get into these debates, and it's awesome. And then there's people like Darius, or Jerome. Well, Darius really sleeps through that fucking class. I don't even know why he's getting probably an ass. But yeah. So Darius asked this really weird question. Like, I think it was about Christianity. Or forget, because of course the Crusades, the Christians, and the Muslims. Oh yeah, now I remember it was something to do with the Crusades. And then it was so weird that, like, I don't even remember. <laughs> it was ridiculous. And yeah, my hair looks like a feathery fan thing in the back. I, I love it. Like, it's, like, awesome. Like, you, like a 50s hairdo, sort of. Very, um, my laptop's on a stand thingy. Um, so it's, like, gonna rock when I either move it, the stand, or I'm bouncing on my bed a little bit because I'm happy and hyper and my hair is awesome and I love it. Um, but, yeah, that was my day, basically. And, oh! Scratch that, it's not my day. It's not over yet. Cause, um, so, this morning in homeroom, I know what you're thinking, how are you backtracking from world history to homeroom? Um, cause I can. Anyway, um, my school, mine, my high school, that 
bitches! We're gonna be the first to do the Harlem Shake video craze at my school. First high school, bitches! No, seriously. Well, I think we're the first high school from what I've seen on YouTube. Like, no high schools have done the Harlem Shake. We're trying to do the Harlem Shake at an effect. Like, we're, we're, like, we students, none of the teachers have any clue about this yet. And so we're just like, oh yeah, we're gonna plan it. And you know, it's funny because I was thinking literally after seeing the Harlem Shake videos, I was like, the whole video trend here on YouTube, I was like, mm, uh, it would be cool if somebody, like, if we did it at NFA and somebody and so and then it was made into an event thing and I was so happy I was so happy like I literally went out of bed today but I was so so happy and 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 it's gonna be awesome and we're gonna like we have help from alumni like an alumna an alumni of the school a former student of the school and we're going to We're gonna try and get it on the morning announcements, and I'm like I volunteered to go with the guy who like started it, like as one of the representatives. Like I suggested, oh, we need like some representatives from each grade, so that way it's fair, like at least two representatives from each grade, so that way it's like fair. And and I don't know like how we're gonna do that. It's, so that way it's like everybody's doing it, and it's gonna be fucking awesome. And I want to post it. I want it to be on YouTube so badly because then I can just type in NFA Harlem Shake, watch it, and just die laughing. Because, like, you know how the Harlem Shake video trend is. It's like ev everybody's going about their own business except for one person. And then the beat dropped. And everybody goes fucking crazy. So, yeah. And that was my day in a nutshell. And if I wear my hair up, it looks so weird. I can't wear my hair up. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> my phone scared the crap out of me. Um, as you probably heard the. <laughs> yeah, you probably heard it five seconds ago. Uh, yeah, well, I better go now. Bye. Uh, uh, hang on. Bye for real this time, guys.